I'm Kevin Horsburgh from NERC's National Oceanography Centre. My team researches extreme sea levels and we develop computer models for coastal flood forecasting. Coastal flooding is the second biggest risk on the National Risk Register behind pandemic flu. £150 billion worth of assets and 4 million people are at risk from coastal flooding. Storm surge is a large-scale increase in sea level due to a weather system. They can raise sea level by 3 to 4 metres in the North Sea and over hundreds of kilometres. Low atmospheric pressure allows the sea level to rise and gale force winds push water towards the coastline. Britain's worst natural disaster happened in the winter of 1953. A massive storm surge in the North Sea battered down coastal defences. 326 people lost their lives and the damage would have cost a billion pounds in today's prices. The storms that battered the UK during December 2013 and January 2014 was the worst weather in recent years. Sea levels in most of the North Sea were higher than in 1953, but it's thanks to decades of improvements in warning systems and coastal defences that there were no fatalities and that there was a timely evacuation of properties. My team has made new findings on how storm surges interact with tides and we found that any storm surge can coincide with any tide. From this knowledge, we've created extreme sea level estimates for the entire UK coastline for coastal defence design. We've also shown how sensitive a storm surge can be to tiny alterations in the weather system so we can assess the likelihood of worst case scenarios. We've developed a trick known as adjoint modelling and it tells us information about where and when the system is most sensitive to changes in the weather forecast. So here we've got a pattern of that sensitivity five hours before high water for this event at the Thames Barrier. So we'll be able to use this technique to improve our storm surge forecasts. Our computer models also help long-term policy for coastal defence and through a project called Thames Estuary 2100 we help to establish a decision framework for a long-term replacement for the Thames Barrier. We know that global sea level might rise by nearly a metre by the year 2100, depending on greenhouse gas emissions. So even if there's no change in storminess, this change in sea level is going to mean that extreme sea levels are seen far more frequently. That's going to place greater demands on flood warning systems to deliver even more accurate forecasts, and more often, in order to protect lives and property.